Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I remain your sister Gloria. If you are a returning subscriber, God bless you. If you are a new person on the road, please do me a favor. Subscribe to the channel, like, share, and above all, I want you to subscribe to Jesus Christ. And as well, I want you to click the notification bell. Okay? Let's see what the Lord has for us today. We're going to discuss the foolishness of man, especially my people. All right, let's look through the Bible and see what the Lord has to say in the book of uh, in the book of uh, say a chapter. No, let's read in the book of uh, Proverb, Job chapter. Six first. Let's do Job 36 verse 2 as and see. Say Job, but if they obey not, they shall perish by the sword, and they shall die without knowledge. Did you hear that? But if they obey not, they shall perish by the sword, and they shall die without knowledge. This place is, um, the, the message of today is talking about the danger of foolishness, the danger of lack of understanding, of knowledge of what is going on or what you're getting yourself entangled with. You need to be careful what you get yourself into. Association of any kind. religion of any kind you need to understand where you are going and where you are coming from so that you'll be able to know what you are up against so if you read in the book of um proverbs chapter 5 verse 23 it says he shall die without instruction and in the greatness of his fully he shall go astray that is what stupidity can do in the life of a man Stupidity is the worst disease you can deal with. So many of us are going through what we're going through today, not because we purposely, but in out of ignorance, we entangled ourselves. We get ourselves into a mess that we have no, but that is, we don't know how to, how to get out of it. Both in marriage, both in relationship, both in anything. You got to be careful. You need to ask God for his direction and guidance in whatever you wanted to do. If you read in the book of Hosea chapter 4 from verse 1, he says, Hear the word of the Lord, you children of Israel. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of God in the land. By swelling and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood touched blood. This place is laying the emphasis of exactly what is going on in the land of the country called Nigeria today. He said, verse 3, Therefore shall the land mourn, and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven. Therefore shall the land mourn. The land of Nigeria is mourning. Do you know why? In 2012, out of their foolishness and the, out of their ignorance, they all share it communist system of government. You heard me. Communist system of government. Without them knowing what they all shared in. The feast of, this is the feast. Occupied Nigeria in 2012 movement has a feast hand like this. That is communist system of government. With the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven, yea, the fishes, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. Everything has been taken away from the citizen by the government on daily basis because of what they are shut in. That is why you need to be careful when it comes to the power of agreement. Because they came in agreement in the streets of Lagos and the streets of Abuja saying occupied Nigeria. Occupied Nigeria. Coming in agreement with the, what is called communist system of government, ignorantly to them because they just accepted it without researching what they are getting themselves entangled with. That's why the Bible says that the foolishness, out of their foolishness, they will perish. 
Are you one of them? How do you react and how do you follow things? The Bible says, follow down not the multitude to sin. When they, no matter who is, you know, pressuring you into something, you need to think, you need to rethink, you need to digest the situation before you get yourself entangled with it. The masses are suffering today because of the sins of the few. It doesn't matter. They came in agreement with the communist socialist system of government with a fist like this. The same thing applicable with the Black Lives Matter. Sometimes I look around and I say, why are black people look seems like to be the most idiotic people that doesn't think before they act? Rather they act before they start thinking. Bible is laying this emphasis so that you can learn something and be wise and grow up and not be ignorant of the enemy or their devices on what they do. Black Lives Matter occupied Nigeria. Another music, the, the, the last movie by uh, Beyonce. They all have one thing in common. Communist system of government with a hand fist like this. And so many people, including Christians and pastors, are grumbling for this. You ask yourself, why? Does it mean that they don't read the Bible? Or does it mean that they don't ask the Holy Spirit to teach them? Because the Holy Spirit is the greatest teacher. He's the only one that can teach you what you don't know. The mystery of time, of season, and of the hour. My brothers and sisters, I am here to tell you the danger of foolishness, the danger of coming into association. Are you telling me that if people that get themselves entangled with secret society, that the enemy told them openly before the beginning of the whole thing that you are about to enter into secret society, are you willing to enter or not? But no, they will lie to you just to reel you in. Before you know what is going on, you have already taken the oath. Before you know what is going on, you have already come in agreement with them. Before you know what is going on, that is, agreement has been made and sealed. And you have no way going back unless you know your Jesus. Which is, if you know your Jesus, the Spirit of God will warn you ahead of time. That is why as a child of God, you need to listen to the inner voice of God in you. Because God speaks to us all the time with that still voice that says, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't get involved with this thing because this is not of the Lord. It is of the devil. Be careful. Be careful, my daughter. Be careful, my son. I pray that as you listen to this word, that God is going to open your eyes for you to be careful. In 2014, before Nigeria voted Buhari into power, I made a video warning them the danger of what they are about to do because the Holy Spirit gave us warning ahead of whatever that is going to happen in our life. Whether we are going to obey or we are not going to obey. I want them that you are about to sell not only your present uh, generation, but your generation sunborn. But they kept mute. Anything but Jonathan. The same spirit is moving right now in America. The projection of the witchcraft activities, which is what Black Lives Matter is all about. They always impose something on the black people that they have no knowledge of the foundation or what it is all about. But because we always act before we think, we always get involved in all those things. Black life matter, all this nonsense, uh, uh, occupied Nigeria. None of all those things was laid, none of the foundation was laid by, by any black people. It was all pushed on us because they know that we, uh, we act before we think. But God is warning you here today. God is telling you, you need to be careful, my brothers and sisters. Today, I told them, I made a video earlier this year and I was warning people, say, listen, the Spirit of God is telling me that you need to be careful the amount of money you keep in the bank because Nigeria have done it before and they are willing to do it again because they are spending sporadically without thinking. They are borrowing, they have already mortgaged the entire country. Be careful how you put your money in the bank and the amount of money you keep in the bank. Today, as I speak with you, the first day of October 2020, according to Nigerian banking system, you cannot spend more than $100 a month 
on your own money, even though it is for business or whatever it is. Before you know it now, they are going to hijack all those money. Which people does that? These are the communist system of China. China is in charge of Nigeria. Nigeria is no longer in charge of themselves. And that is what is going to happen in America if not that God is already ahead of the situation here. The pastors here are not bought and paid like the pastors in Nigeria. But today is still the time when many Christians that made the mistake in 2014, 2015 in Nigeria can rise up and redeem themselves. I pray that God will open your eyes to do the needful thing. I love you all and God bless you. As you ask God for the, to deliver you from the spirit of foolishness and the spirit of stupidity. Because it's not of the Lord and it can never be of the Lord. God bless you. As you subscribe to this channel, please subscribe to Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming soon. Are you ready for the second coming of the Lord? Because I am ready to get out here. Amen.